Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Connor. Here with my father, Kevin. And today we are going to praise the Lord. Lord. Tell me about Lord. Well, he's got a lot of churches around the world. No. <laughs> Your Lord that you actually <laughs> discovered before I did. Did I really? Yeah, you showed me uh, a couple of Lord songs, Royals. It was the first one you ever showed me. Really? I don't remember. I, I know that uh, that's the one I know, and I yeah, yeah, love and it. Yeah, and you were like, oh, you should listen to this. This was back in 2013. Wow, no shit. Yeah, yeah. You li Well, you liked that album, didn't I know, you? I know, I know, but I think I just realized that I did something. Yeah, you showed it to me, and then you kind of, you haven't followed Lord since, really. You don't, no, You don't not know much all. about what she's done. So, no. Um, I've been wanting to do this record for a long time. It's a record that I really enjoy. Uh, it's the one that got me into Lord. A melodrama. It's been on my list of albums that I've wanted to show you. Uh, the time has finally come because of Brat, Brat season. It's Brat summer. And Charlie dropped her song, Girl So Confusing. And you and I during you, our... You, you called it. I think we both kind of... No, I, I called it. Yeah, you yeah. I'm not taking any credit. You yeah, called it. Yeah. yeah. I, well, I kind of guessed that when she yeah, said yeah. we have the same hair. I was like, that sounds like it's about Lord. Turns out it was about Lord. Uh, and we have confirmation because Lord hopped on the remix. Oof. And yeah. Um, yeah, they did a remix of the song. And I just forgot how much I love Lord uh, when, we, when I listened to that remix. And I was like, we got to get to melodrama now so that's why we're here yeah we are going to test with girl so confusing right through uh, remix yeah that yeah, will okay. be the audio test, test. okay uh, for yeah patreon yeah so if you want to check that out it's on the patreon uh we do an audio test every every video we do an audio test and we always pick something weird or fun today we have a themed one so yeah if you want to check it out it's on the patreon uh because i feel like this might make you enjoy the record even more mm -hmm. um Anyway, track number one, Green Light. I do my makeup in somebody else's car. We order different drinks at the same bars. I love the way she says bars. I know about what you did and I want to scream the truth. She thinks you love the beach, you're such a damn liar. Love that she didn't rhyme there. Yeah. But I hear sounds in my mind. Great voice. We heard that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got shivers in that already. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. In a different bedroom. Well, those rumors they have big teeth. Hope they bite you. But I hear sound. I love how many different things are going on. Yeah. We're and building. I, I love her voice here. Yeah. It's so cool. This is how you do a fucking breakup song. Yeah. <laughs> You don't be sad on the piano, you fucking kill it. I know the piano's even so upbeat. I know. <laughs> Fuck you, get out of here. I'm leaving. This is fucking absolutely huge. I'm sorry I've been holding this back from Holy you for a shit. while. I kind of just forgot about it. Nice grovel at the end, eh? I don't know if grovel is a word, but wow! What a <laughs> what an opener! I started tearing up. A that crazy is so song. huge. One of the, her best songs. One of my favorite songs from the 2010s. Uh, incredible pop song. That is how you do it. Um, if you're if you're gonna fuck off or get in like some kind of. Uh, uh, what's it called? Breakup? Yeah. This That's, is... You don't want to go, oh, say it, man, man. I believe in you, man. No, you go... You uh, like that. Full of energy. Yeah. Uh, incredible song. That's how you shake someone out of your soul. Seriously. And I know we just listened to Brat and stuff, and it's like, 
songs like this and what what Lord is doing, what Charlie's doing, what Caroline's doing. Yeah. Uh, all these artists are just making, uh, just pushing boundaries when it comes yeah, to yeah. pop music. Like that is a perfectly crafted <laughs> pop is, song. That was fantastic. Track number two, Sober. Oh God, I'm clean out of air in my lungs. It's all gone. Played it so nonchalant. It's time we dance with the truth. What year was this? 2017. Wow. Why it sounds? No, it sounds ahead of its time. Yeah, no, yeah. Big time. Great production. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. Really great lyrics too. Like she's really a fantastic good. writer. Really, really good. Yeah, percussion, bang on yeah. it. Yeah. It's such a really uniquely crafted song. Like when I first heard it, I hadn't heard anything like it. Oh yeah, there's lots going on in the back. Was that the end of it? Yeah, that was the end. <laughs> it was trippy. Yeah, no, it's a really trippy song, and the the, the vocal sample in the beginning and the end, and it kind of runs through the whole song between the just percussion and everything surrounding that song i think it's one of the more unique tracks of the 2010s i just remember listening to it for the first time and being like this is fucking cool like and weird weird and different yeah yeah but very catchy and, yeah, yeah. and the lyrics like i loved the whole i just love the lyrics um to totally makes sense in uh girls so confusing where charlie says i'm good at throwing parties you're good at writing poems like, yeah, yeah. like her just lyricism is, yeah. is really uh it's it's abstract but not to the point where it doesn't make sense and it's too far yeah, yeah, out yeah. there where you're like what are you talking about yeah like it's right in that perfect range of that like, nice wheelhouse yeah, 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 yeah. Where yeah like you, you can grasp like you know king uh king queen of the weekend and stuff like that yeah and like you you get what uh like the jack and jill thing you you get what she's talking about on yeah, here yeah yeah but it's not it's not too straightforward, but it's not too abstract that you're just lost. Track number three, Homemade Dynamite. A couple rebel top gun pilots flying with nowhere to be. Her voice. Ooh, That's beautiful. Wow. I don't know you super well, but I think that you might be the same as me. Wow, what a change up. I love the stagger on the D's. Yeah. Da, 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 I get your friends to drive, but he can hardly see. So let's let things come out of the woodwork. I give you my best. I tell you all my best. I like, see me rolling, showing someone else love. Hands under your t-shirt. Oh, I think you're awesome, right? You know what? You, when a song captures you so quick and the drums are very weak, Is that what you were saying? <laughs> no, the drums are very weak on this song. It's yeah. just a clap, right? Yeah, a kick and a clap. But everything else makes up for it. So much yeah. little uh, details yeah. added in the production. Woo! This is a verb on that. Yeah, her vocals are phenomenal. And production on this album is just, I don't know. It, it, like you said uh, two tracks ago, or the last track, um, ahead of its time, really. It, it sounds like this could be a 2024 release. Just came out. Yeah. If you didn't tell me, I would think it just came out. I am, yeah, this, I'm so glad we're doing this album. Yeah. I would I, have I never. Feel, I feel like it's one that. Uh, I don't think I'd ever touch it myself. You know that? And, and you know why? Why? Just because I would just. I listened to Lord 2013. You that's kind of all you associated her with. Yeah, and that was it. It was like you thought it was like the a diamonds one. in the rough. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? And that was it. That yeah. was it. But this is this is far more than that. Yeah, she really elevated herself yeah. uh, going forward. Track number four, The Louvre. Well, summer slipped us underneath her tongue. Our days and nights are perfumed with obsession. Use our eyes, throw our hands overboard. I love her phrasing, though. I yeah. am your sweetheart, psychopathic crush. I overthink your punctuation. That was cute as hell. I'm a fool. Yeah. Just a thing that my mind do. You know what? I'm fucking I'm floored you're, here. You're digging it. I'm, I'm digging it, but like, how? Like, so innovative. Oh, completely. I, know. I would never think of doing shit like this. I think progresses. I call and you come through, but we're the greatest. They'll hang us in the loop. Down the back, but who cares? Still the loop. <laughs> that was I was waiting for that line. <laughs> that was fucking so awesome. <laughs> That gave me an insight of her personality, which yeah. is really. Hang us some blue in the back, but that's yeah, still a little. <laughs> Gives me like uh, <laughs> fucking bare naked ladies craft dinner vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Broadcast the boom, 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 and make them all dance to it. Love the drop on everything yeah. there. No effects. You got straight Lord. Lord, 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 good Lord. Yeah, and then it just fades out. So I can pause it here. Yeah. Uh, that was such a cool song. That was, man, that was so cool. What I said was when she's like ahead of her time, like every single step, I'm waiting for the obvious to happen and the it obvious doesn't, doesn't happen and it but it happens and you go oh it's going to shit but it it happens in the such the choruses were like down tempo they got yeah, sucked down soft. they were very they soft, were soft. And pushed down but they worked you, you yes. know the, my first listen if I can remember I think I had the same feeling where I was like wait what this is the chorus it's not that big Whoa. yeah you expect something yeah. huge and then it's the opposite but yeah it, yeah it fits for that song. Yes, yes. And that, then that, the line about the Louvre. Is that just, made me actually, it, I actually so got, funny. I actually, you can see here. You got a little teary. I got teary. and Because you see a little bit of her personality. I saw that. I think I just, I, I'm going to cry now. I think it's fucking, but we're the greatest. They'll still hang us in the Louvre down at the back, but who cares? Still, <laughs> still the Louvre, yeah. <laughs> what a great line. Yeah, I love it. Track five, Liability. Baby really hurt me, crying in the taxi He don't want to know me, says he made the big mistake of dancing in my store Says it was poison So I guess I'll go home Into the arms of the girl that I love The only love I haven't screwed up They say You're a little much for me You're a liability I'm a little much for it that was cool. Yeah. You're all gonna watch me disappear into the sun. Wow. Love, love, love her voice just with piano. Yeah. It's great with all the vocal layers and the and effects. All, and all the effects, but hear her popping on the. Hear yeah, her you can, they left that in. I love. That I love that, that they in. kept that in because it's really it's it's like you close it your feels eyes. Feels intimate and like yeah. you're there with her and she's yeah. singing like right beside you yeah, or yeah. something. Track number six, hard feelings slash loveless. Please could you be tender? And I was so close to you. I'm at Jungle City. It's late and the song is for you. Jungle City is it a? Here's the here's the quiet choruses, eh? Yeah. Man. But I love the, the back and forth pace of this song. Yeah. 
I love what you said earlier about the lyrics because I totally agree. Mm-hmm. They're 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 not so far off, but you can see. I, 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 I grasp them, I but grasp they're not them. just generic yeah, yeah. or anything. Yes. Nice, great kid. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking rattlesnake in my left ear. <laughs> This gives me Charlie feel. You know? Yeah, and, and, and a really industrial feel too, yeah. eh? I feel Depeche Mode. Yeah. Years left you every single day, made me weak. It was real for me. I'll start letting go of little things till I'm so far away from you, far away from you. Yeah. <laughs> I always I, think of that when I, I hear that. Phil Collins. Do, 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 boom, boom. Wow, she went different. Total opposite. Total different vocals. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, but lyrically as Yeah, well. yeah. I love the instrumental of the second half. <laughs> yeah. Like, just... Oh, it just it itches, scratches my brain. Yeah, where, yeah, where you need it scratched. Yeah. yeah. But I like how her lyrics went harder, but her voice got lighter and more petite. Yes, it was more aggressive, right? Yeah. Anyway, this is a fade out, which I found an interesting choice. Yeah. It, it's like a about a thirty second fade out. It could represent the fade out of the relationship. Oh, you're going deep. I love that track. Uh, the both sides of it, uh, the industrial feeling we really tapped into that. It does have that. That was really cool. Yeah, the the the, cr- the cranking like the Depeche Mode, you know that. Yeah, that's and then of... the screeching of that. Yeah, what, with synth or something. I don't. I don't yeah, it was yeah. really cool. Uh, it gave me feelings of Charlie's stuff, um, but also like, you know, Charlie wasn't the the pioneer of that. You know, there's like you said Depeche Mode. So I don't know exactly where Lord got her. Uh, influence from with yeah. with that sound. There's Nine Inch Nails and stuff. Like oh yeah, that there's different, tons, different right? bands that have uh, tried that sound and used so yeah, used that sound. So I don't know where she got the influence from. Track what the hell track are we on? <laughs> track number seven, Sober Two, Melodrama. Nice strings. Last if I was feeling it, I'm psycho high. Oh, how fast the evening passes, cleaning up the champagne glass. Our only wish is melodrama. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. Oh, how fast the evening passes, cleaning up the champagne glasses. Terror and the horror. When we want to, why we bother? Whoa. Whoa. I love her voice. So good. Wow. This is great. Fuck, it's building and getting nice and hard, eh? Love that she's doing high falsetto. Yeah, you hear the multiple vocals. Yeah. Yeah, so that is sober too. It's kind of like uh, that was fire. Yeah, it's it's more of like an interlude track. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't call it like a full. I mean, it is a full song, but it's, yeah, it doesn't compare to sober number one. No, but uh, yeah, a really well constructed song. Track number eight, <laughs> writer in the dark. Break the news, you're walking out to be a good man for someone else. Did my best to exist just for you. Bet you knew <laughs> the day you kissed a rider right. in the dark. She drops that. Yeah. Now she's gonna play and sing and lock you in her heart. <laughs> oh, fuck. That is some vocal shit happening there. I am my mother's child. I love you till my breathing stops. I love you till you call the cops on me. I still feel you now and then slow like pseudoephedrine she's right in our heads eh? yeah it's beautiful 
I ride the subway, read the signs I let the seasons change my mind I love it here since I start needing you That's a great line. I am a mother's child I love you till my breathing stops I love you till you call the cops on me That is catchy. I'm already singing it. One in. Oh my god, it's like she let the crowd sing, eh? Yeah, she's like, alright, it's yep. your turn. This was fucking beautiful. This was beautiful. You've seen the cover art for this album, right? You have it on your thing? No, I don't. No. Oh, I thought you were saying it. Oh, it's just, that's really beautiful cover art as well. I feel like it really captures the sound. You can't see it when you go to Genius? No, I just got this. That was fucking absolutely, that was the closest I've been to crying uh, on this album. I had my tears earlier when she talked about the Louvre. Yeah. But this was like her vocals and hearing the clicks of her voice. Her, She is an incredible singer. Incredible. I, I love her voice. Like, it's just... I, I feel like she doesn't get, uh, or she's not in the conversation enough for like, you know... Yeah. You know some of the best singers of of my generation. Yeah. Um. Maybe that's just because she doesn't have enough material out yet. You know, yeah. She's only got three albums and and for, a fourth on the way. But uh, yeah, th- it's just her voice is she can do incredible things with it. Like there, uh, the chorus when she went up and <laughs> went to a higher note. Oh my God. And I, I I still think back to the track one green light where she says you know i i uh see sounds or whatever I, yeah in my mind yeah uh, like the way her voice like it, it gave me similar feelings to that with like she can just take it to another level uh that yeah. i don't see you know happen all the time i mean it does happen often with records we cover but that's kind of because we're usually covering the best of the best yeah yeah, you know, yeah. we're not just listening to random stuff on Spotify. Yeah. And there's a reason why Lord is, is held in such high regard and why this record itself is held in such high regard. Track number nine, Supercut. In my head, I play a supercut of us. And in my head, the visions never stop. Her stop was great. These ribbons wrap me up. I don't know what a supercut is. Super just like, I'm gonna read it. Uh, like all the best parts, like. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. All combined in one. Yeah. Oh, okay, like okay. You make a supercut of someone's highlights. Okay. Uh, the highlight reel. That's. Now it's gone. Look at the vocal layers there. Yeah. I love this. Oh my god. I that love that so she went cool. into the bathroom to record that. Yeah. Yeah, we need that fucking beat drop right there. Yeah. This gave me green light feelings. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, that boom. That, the speed. Yeah, everything. the speed. That is the last song. Super cut. <laughs> Not the last song. No, we got two more. Uh, um, you know what? I got to say something before this is going right. Let's just let it. Okay, it's there. Okay. Um, I want to just bring up something really quick before I forget is that the song, this album so far has a lot of breakup content in it, right? Yes. Which I have said before, I can't really relate to. Okay. I've been, I didn't really have a breakup. I really was a loser. Uh, You've had some breakups, but not like 
No, very minuscule. Yeah. yeah, yeah, nothing, nothing of like, a, uh, like you know, like where 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 Kevin Parker talks about, and you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. All those di- or, or lore and all that kind of stuff. But I have to go into the space in which I did with guts with Olivia Rodrigo. Yes. Right. I have where to. You go- tried to change your mind. Well, you have. Uh, a you have to. Bit. You have to go to that space. You have yeah. to go to that space. Think and of think- where the writer is coming from. Exactly, and that's very important with this album as well. You have to go to that space and think of the hurt and. The, I can really understand why so many people must resonate with this album. Yes. In terms of going through things, because if I did go through something, you'd want this album. I'd want to put this album on repeat. A hundred percent. Right. Yeah. And then drink like tons of beer. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I think that's a, a perfect way to, to yeah. describe it. And I, I think that's the right mindset to go into albums. Really, um, is to you know approach it from where you think the writer might be coming from. Track 10, Liability, Reprise. I'm a liability, I'm a liability. Did Billy and Phine- Phineas listen to that list, these, the Lord a lot? Probably. Listen to the vocal layering, man. Yeah. No, 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 and closeness to the proximity to the microphone. What you gonna do? People forget how influential Lord is in the pop sphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very influential. Make all of the kids in the choir sing woohoo. <laughs> Those little moments. I love the woohoos, man. Maybe all this is the party, but you're not what you thought you were. <laughs> Holy fuck, her voice is crazy there. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, great, wow. great track. Uh, just mix mixing wise with the vocals and beautiful, and beautiful. Very simple, like production wise. Nothing too crazy going on. but yep. just a, a beautifully written beautifully constructed track yeah you know what when people do that and i'll, I'll go back to i actually i've never uh which i'm gonna call it, i don't think i ever played it on here uh bruce springsteen streets of philadelphia when he got you've, yeah you've talked about it i've talked here. about it when when he came out with that and it was just and the producers thought he was crazy because springsteen's the guitar guy or whatever yeah and it was just <laughs> and then since and then he had these fucking killer lyrics and he sang over top of it that's what that gave me right there those shivers mm-hmm. of just keeping it really keeping it simple yeah the, the kiss mentality keep keep it simple stupid just play it just like just let it all out and keep it really really simple and that was the, that was that should have been a longer track for me yeah it is it's beautiful and yeah it's, yeah it's only two two minutes but yeah. uh it is kind of like a little bit of a transition yeah. it kind of if you notice the heavy bass Continues from the end of Supercut into Liability. Liability, yeah. And then we go into the final track. Track 11. <laughs> Perfect Places. Every night I live and die. Feel the party to my bones. But when we're dancing, I'm all right. Are you lost in us? Have another drink, get lost in us. This is how we get less Soviets. Good track to end this. Yeah. Hey. Nice and thanks. I love this ending. This ending? This yeah. It's oh, oh yeah, 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 closer, yeah. Love all the synths hat coming in, eh? Yeah. It's a harsh synth orgy. Look at it. There's that. Now the hats are yeah. big time, eh? Fuck music is beautiful. <laughs> it is. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, yeah, it is. It really is. All the nights spent off our faces. Trying to find these perfect places. Lord. 
Good Lord. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was that was your first real Lord album. I'll, I'll say like you listened to singles when they came out yep. in 2013, but yep. this is your first experience listening to a full Lord record. How do you feel? You know what? I'm going to have to say this and I'm making a bold statement here. Mm-hmm. There was not a flat spot. No, not at all. That was not, there was not a single flat spot. 11 that, for 11 on yeah, the tracks. Yeah, did not, there's not a part where I was like, it, that was too long or it was too short. It was, or she did this or do that. It was, it, that was 11, 11 tracks total, yeah, right? Yeah. 11 tracks. Of perfection. Of just perfect. That was it. Yeah. Production, vocals, singing. Lyrics. Lyrics. I mean, the full, full package. And bless the Lord, bless the Lord. <laughs> and just you know, her being so young writing this, uh, her, this is 19, yeah, she was, I think, around 19 writing this. Um, and then her follow up after that, Solar Power, uh, I still I love that record as yeah. well. I think you'll like it. And I'm just excited for the future of what she, you know, can do because, uh, she's so talented. Uh, at such a young age, she she was yeah. like destined to be this great writer, I yeah. think, and and she's you know really just proved herself with this record, and then now she's continuing to release stuff. And I'm glad you're you're tapped in now. You're you're in. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm cause... glad we did this one because I think this this really really showcased something totally different from what I was showing you. Honestly, I only thought Royals. That's it. Like that was it. You're just like, oh, she was that girl who. Yeah, wrote, did Royals. Yeah, that's yeah. about it. And I remember I freaked out. I'm like, this young, you know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, clueless in terms of all her other stuff. Yeah, I thought that was the. I, I literally thought it was like a one album wonder. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll be frank with you. Like I literally thought it, that was it, and I've never even. You just didn't hear the name. Didn't hear the name didn't anymore. Know she was still making music. Yeah, yeah. But no, she's killing it, and she's well, making she's making classic pop records. Uh, at, and I'm excited for what she has coming next. I had a lot of fun listening to this. Um, it's a record that I I hold close to my heart because I you know when it came out I really liked it. I hadn't gone back to it in a while until really until Brat. Um, and I was like, ah, you know, I'm going to go back and listen to yeah. to this record. And I was like, oh fuck, why haven't I shown you this yet? I hope you had fun. I had lots of fun, and I realize now that Lord is a crazy vocalist. I'm glad you liked it, and I hope you guys had fun uh, watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, let us know if you want us to cover another Lord record. Uh, we'll definitely do whatever she does next. Uh, you know, in terms of new releases, uh, but you know, for uh, Solar Power, let us know if you want to see that or not. I'll read the comments feel the reception out see how people are feeling if not my dad can do a solo uh video you've been doing that lately i've been doing solos uh, just to let you guys know on the patreon anyway take care guys much love and uh, we'll see you soon peace